Hello and welcome to the 45th video in this series programming HS in Java uh, engine sorry in JavaScript. So last video we finished off the evaluation, our sort of skeleton evaluation, and now let's have a look in the search.js what we still need to implement. And there are a couple of big things. One is this getting the PV move, an order PV move. We've got the picking of the move, the heuristics here which is also to do with move ordering and the storing of the PV move and the make check which will come at the end. So the two big ones really are the move scoring, ordering and the storing of the PV move and I want to leave the move scoring until we've actually done our first search in a position so we can show the engine searching and then see the improvements we get through scoring and picking the moves. So what we're going to look at now is the storing of this PV move and the way we're going to do this, well, we're going to make a new file and I've called it pvtable.js and I've added into uh, index.html also a link to this JavaScript file. And inside here, I'm just going to quickly talk about how this PV move table will work. Can't remember whether I've already discussed it or not. But basically what we're going to have is we're going to have a array so and we'll say we'll call this a PV array and this array or PV let's call it a PV table because we'll need another one called a PV array so we're going to have a, a PV table for the PV move and this is going to be made up of 10,000 entries and one entry is going to have a position key so the key for the position and it's going to have a move stored. And the way that we'll store, at the, every time in the search, at the bottom of alpha beta here, where we've got store the PV move, because we found a move that beats alpha, we're simply going to get an index to store at will be equal to the current position key moduloed by 10,000, so the number of entries in the table. And then all we'll do is we'll take our PV table at then our index and set the move equal to the move from alpha beta and obviously the pos key equal to the game board dot pos key. So that's how we're, excuse capitals, so that's how we're going to use our table. And that means then when we're inside the alpha beta algorithm and we come to actually probe for a PV move or when we've finished our search and we want or we've come out of a depth and we want to get the last move found to probe a PV move should be fairly obvious what we do we simply take the current position key modulo that by 10,000 to get the index and we say then that if the position key at that index in the table is the same as our in our current position key then we know that the move is applicable for the position and because of the way that the alpha beta backs up to the root in the tree the last move stored for the position key at the root obviously will be the best move that we found in the search because that will have been the, la the, the best beta of alpha the best move will have been set so without further ado, in this video we're not going to put the code into alpha beta but we're going to prepare the code to do this inside this pvtable.js. The first thing we need to do though is go into defs.js and below the mate here I'm just going to define something called PV entries like so and set that to the 10,000 for our 10,000 entries we're going to have inside the table. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually define our PV table as part of our game board structure. So I'm going to take our game board and add into it now something called a PV table, funnily enough, which we've been discussing, and just set that equal to an array for now, which we're going to initialize. And we're also going to set something called a game board, and we're going to call this a PV array and that's going to be set to a new array and we can already give the max depth and all this is going to be this is going to be an array which will be filled up to max depth to show the best line that the engine found or is finding during its search so if it comes out of depth 5 this will have 5 moves in it in the array and those moves will be from 1 to 5 the 
best line it found and then depth six will have six moves in it and so on. This PV table is what will have the 10,000 entries and will store all of our PV information. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go into main and we need to, where we initialize, where is it, the history for the board here, so initialize board variables, we now also need to initialize our PV table. So I'll just go down a little bit here and obviously now we're going up to the number of PV entries we have, so up to 10,000 there. And now what we want to say is we want to say, so game board, and it works exactly the same as for the history above, and dot PV table, and then we'll push a new entry into this, and just make the brackets like doing it this way so we don't get confused. And we're going to push in a move, and we'll set that to start with to no move, and we're going to push in a position key, which we'll set to zero like that. So that then is the initialization done of our PV table. Okay so what remains to do now is actually to write the functions inside pvtable.js to actually uh, store and probe a move. So I'll take off this commented out code now because it's not very uh, difficult to understand. And the first function we're going to write is going to be called probe PV table and probing the PV table, very, very simple. We're just going to say var, our index that we know then is equal to gameboard dot position key modulo then by the number of PV entries, which gives us our index. And then we need to say that if, and we'll say the gameboard dot at index position key is equal to the current game board dot position key then we know that inside the table here because we've got the same position key then we know that we can return the move that's stored inside this table because it uh, was a, a move that the current position that beat alpha so we'll return the move like this. I just put the return there, that would help. Otherwise if we haven't found anything we'll just return no move. Okay so one more function to write then is the simple uh, store PV move and here we're taking an argument of the move that we want to store and inside store PV move we do exactly the same here we take the entry except now things are a little more simple because we simply need to brutally overwrite whatever is in there. So we set the key equal to the position key from our current uh, game board position and then we also set the move equal to the move that we've sent in as an argument. And that's all there is to it. So that's the storing and the probing of the PV table move now completed. So the next video will fill in the information or the store and probe at the appropriate points in the alpha beta and then look at the move ordering scores. So thanks very much for watching, comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.